what's up guys and welcome to the vlog I am in New York City second time I've been in this absolutely vibrant chaotic and beautiful city I'm gonna be here for the fight which is tomorrow the Anthony Joshua fight managed to get tickets sorted so I've turned it into a long weekend <laughs> So we just had a couple of drinks at that bar. I said I wasn't gonna have anything. However, Louis, the bad influence, maybe have a couple of vodka lime and soda. Some vodka lime and soda in there is $15. So if you're gonna stay there all night and start off sober, it's gonna be a very, it's gonna be an expensive one. You are gonna be dinting your wallet ever so slightly or ever so massively, depending upon how wealthy you are. Don't start off sober. Do not start off sober. Do Never it. ever start off sober anywhere you go. I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually handle that amount of wasabi in one go. terrible. I terribly handled. So Louis not going to get the pair of shoes he also wanted. <laughs> Morning Musculation Nation, man is feeling a little bit rough today, I'm not gonna lie. So now we're just chilling at the pool. As you can imagine, there is a lack of rooftop pools in New York, and I managed to find one. So we're gonna chill here for a bit, so for the race, and then we've got a YouTube video to film late this afternoon, but before that, we're gonna train legs. So we just stopped off at Juice Generation to get some juice and goodness into our body before leg day. Went for a little bit of a sweet treat, a peanut butter cookie, 230 calories, and this one, PB and Joe, it's called. PB and Joe. It's got cold brew coffee, almond milk, peanut butter, cocoa nibs, cow cow nibs, banana, and we also added some dates for some extra sweetness. So I'm probably going to be training at Equinox for the majority of the time I'm here, simply because it's just convenient. It's literally five minutes away from the hotel. Ask yourself this question. Do you want to be one among the few and chosen? The title of MC is harder to achieve than many want to believe and deceive and perceiving this M singing with ease. Please, pay and dues without collecting fees until your time to shine your profit. So that was an alright session, did what I could. I'm actually battling with a bit of a cold at the moment because I don't know whether it was the stag doing Barcelona or the fact that I've been in three different countries in the past three weeks. It's a lot of traveling, a lot more than I'm used to. And I picked something up that I got sore through. I can't breathe through my nose, I can't hear out my left ear, which is not ideal, it's like I'm speaking with headphones in the whole time. So usually if I'm ill or I'm not feeling 100%, I usually taper down the volume, so for that leg session for example, if I was feeling really bad I wouldn't even train at all, but I'm quite stubborn and I feel like I could have got a session out if I did. I just did less volume than usual, so four exercises and I got the job done. But hopefully I'll be on the road to recovery pretty, pretty sharpish. Believe it or not folks, I've never had a Chick-fil-A before, so I'm going to try it out today. So we're here at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, my very first time at Chick-fil-A. Chick Got these... Uh, Waffle fries, nugs, spicy burger. Another burger. Oh. My burger. Jeez. The chicken looks pretty weighty. Sounds quite good actually. So my overall thoughts of Chick-fil-A. Better than McDonald's, better than Burger King, better than In N Out. On a little bit of par with five guys, I still think Shake Shack's better. Shake Shack holds the crown for now, people. I have one more place to check out, which is What Burger, Burger Number Four. Check it out. My shoe, damaging Sean is something you can't do. You think you can, I know you think you can, but you can't. He's on the mic, got 
I'm a pretty crew, just like the Cooper ants. So just stopping off quickly at Times Square. It's a bit timey like. I'd probably say it's better to go in the evening, wait and see all the lights and all its glory. So at the moment it's just like there's just lots of people. Lots of tall buildings. And lots of police. If anyone is wondering, it is warm today. Warm as in warm. As in it's 27 degrees Celsius. I'll let you convert that in Fahrenheit. So yeah, if it's peak summer and it gets warmer than this, I don't really think I'd want to be here. There's no pool nearby. It's a bit foisty. Shout out to Louis getting footage of me, getting footage of myself, talking about absolute nonsense. so far it would be very hard to diet. There is temptation around every single corner. This place is very well known obviously for its cupcakes and baked goods. I went for a little flourless cupcake. It was not the most exciting thing on the menu but I thought like you know no flour no calories basically that's how it works. And then Louis got a cupcake that actually looked way better than mine. We did a lot of walking today so we need to fuel the walk. We're at Central Park. Feels like I've done about 25,000 steps. I've done 13,000. 13? Yeah. It's foisty. The temperature has now escalated to 41 degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just looking at the view, basking in that view. Last time I was here, four years ago, right? Five years ago, those little tall, thin, stick like skyscrapers were not there. I don't understand how it works. It's like literally a little stick. I don't know if I'd want to be at the top when it's like really windy, surely it's going to be swaying from side to side. Actually, I definitely do want one of them. Yes, I would definitely happily be there. Zerzor. <laughs> so we're on the way to get a little bit of a quick bite before the fight, which is in approximately three hours time. So back again trying something completely new today. I am having chipotle bowl chicken with some rice and all the rest of it, beans, salsa, a bit of guacamole. Would you class this as healthy? This is going to spark a right debate on YouTube because some people will say yes, some people will say no. It's hard for me to say because I don't know where the chicken is from. I don't know where the rest of the ingredients are from, but... It does more it. towards the healthy side, I would say. That was an interesting turn of events. Wouldn't you say so? Unbelievable. I don't even like boxing. This goes to show, really, that you can't really judge book by its cover. Ruiz came through and absolutely destroyed Joshua, to be honest. It also disproves science and fitness. Yes. Yeah. Makes, makes the whole of the fitness industry look bad. Morning and welcome to another video. <laughs> It's the next day after the fight, still in absolute shock and awe as to the result, but still fair play to the guy. Uh, we're gonna do a full deal. <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> oh, the man is still very much ill. We're gonna do a full day of eating today in New York. I'm looking forward to this because, first of all, I love to eat, and second of all, New York has some of the most banging food available. <laughs> after that very successful breakfast, it's time for the game. Gonna be checking out a different spot this time in Soho, which is ideal. Gonna be training with a guy called Wittenberg Stanley Adolf, which is uh, one hell of a name. There he is. Oh, 
I'm leading the session today, apparently. Lyrical activity up in my district is thick. Robberies with enemies, seven four to fifth. Drug blocks and bootleg spots get hit like spits. Yeah, uh, sink ships, floggies be singing like tip to the beast. Still, the hustle and don't cease. Robberies increase, these niggas slicker than grease. Police, they roll the bonus in the black caprice. The neighborhood drop was hot, standing out like Twin Peaks. It's time to flee the scene. And cross the creek for safety, leave the guns in Greenwood. Double back, hit my gate, stats is still up in the hills. Lay back and chill, twist the line of small timers combining. Mastermind and plans to turn off the tune to business tycoons. Draw up the blueprints, then the month from June. Put the plan in effect. Right then, we are off to a place called Flight Club. So, there's a reason that they're behind glass because these are the most expensive ones. $40,000 there, just the $40,000 for a pair of shoes. I don't know why, but he's standing out for me. Air Force One Dons. Certain Starbucks branches in New York actually offer this premium service. Hopefully, one day they'll have it in London because it's like having a cold, creamy coffee. I can't believe it's only got five calories in it. Okay, it's about to go down. We're going on a helicopter. We're getting a helicopter tour in New York. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? <laughs> Very good. Excited. Right, so that helicopter ride was definitely something worth doing. A bit windy though. Anyway, we're off to a place called Buddha Card for some food. We've got Cantonese spring rolls and some sexual shrimp. So, I've ordered. Crab sticky rice, a measly $26, and this is the short rib. So, we just finished the meal at Budokan. It was very good, it was very good. A little bit on the pricey side, feeling a little bit knackered now. I'm not gonna lie, it's been quite a busy day. Obviously, I had the workout with Devin earlier on, and then the chopper ride where I was blasted with wind for a solid 30 minutes. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna take it easy today, tonight and it's going to be the last day tomorrow because we'll be flying back so we need to make the most of our last day in new york so it's the last day in new york the weather is absolutely outrageous and we are going to walk to soho first stop today is the cereal bar because the cereal bar i'm not gonna lie is probably one of the best places i went to i don't know why it just made me so happy inside like something you'd see in your dreams like something you'd see off inception so the trip has come to an end sad times indeed you know I wish I I did have longer here but I do need to go back home and go back to normality believe it or not well it is actually quite believable because I've been all over the place as you can tell on the YouTube channels and videos man has almost turned into a bit of a travel vlogger 
I can assure you that that is not going to be the case, although I'm going to throw these videos in more, more vlogging. Louis, have you enjoyed your time in New York with Mikey T, the lyrical G? Always. What are we going to do next? Next? Yeah. Next we're off to Ibiza. The next vlog you're going to see from me, or the next holiday vlog is going to be an Ibiza vlog. And there's going to be a couple guests there. A couple guests, Rob Lipsit, Harrison Twins, probably a couple other people as well. That is going to be very fun. But yeah, New York, it's been a pleasure. Louis, it's also been a pleasure having you here. Thanks for bringing me. And I'll see you guys in London.